Pink pulsating aurora, a glitch in the matrix. If you think it is weird that pink auroras are rare, well, pulsating auroras are rare too. And last night in Abisko, Sweden, watchers witnessed both rarities at the same time. But is not the weirdest story of the night. Buckle up. I'm talking about strange orange things in the sky. And no, I'm not talking about this giant Cheeto landmark in Alberta. Really, Canada? What I'm talking about is what are these crazy columns of light in Belorod or Belgorod? Residents uploaded footage at the same time. It is reported that such pillars are visible from Moscow, Murmansk, and even Omsk. The residents themselves wonders what is causing this glow. And at the moment, nobody knows, man. Is it a warning? Is it aliens? Is it top secret technology from one of the militaries on Earth? Is it a, a dimension split? Is it a portal opening? Is it the CERN? Is it the baby CERN, which is more powerful than the old CERN? I don't know. I'm asking you. But yeah, Russians are perplexed. An incomprehensible glow appeared in the sky over Russia. Bill Gorod. Stranger things, stranger than fiction. Strange lights, strange signs in the heavens. Absolutely. Without a doubt, for sure. And over seven months since Russia invaded Ukraine, things are not going well for them at all. Not at all lately. The U.S. lost 23 tanks during the entire Gulf War. Today, Russia lost 44 tanks in Ukraine. Hey, well, there it is, folks. The coronal mass ejection from this morning's blast on the southern part of the sun has an Earth-directed component expected to arrive October 7th. Boom. Yeah, the sun has definitely been waking up. And in October, it has put on a record display. We had an X-Class flare the other day. And right now there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sunspots on the sun with a solar flux of 152. The Nav Jim is like, watch out, hurricane coming around the 12th. The GFS is like, watch out, hurricane coming around the 12th. But right now, ensembles are like, you ain't really got to worry about it if you were in the United States of America. But if you're in Central America, you definitely have to worry about it. But a lot can change in eight days. But you already knew that. But this definitely looks nasty. I dare say it is a live one. Hey, let me take a second to say super duper thank you to Teresa and saying prayers for you and your family. And let me say thank you to everybody in Astro Fight Club and say that I'm saying prayers for all you and your family. And technically, I'm saying prayers for everybody on the planet Earth. Okay, cool. Oh my gosh. 37 days from now, there's going to be much below normal temperatures up in here, up in this business. And then right around the lakes, there's going to be high winds. Just letting you know. And today, Elon Musk was like, hey, I changed my mind again with Mars and Gemini. I'm, I've decided I'm going to buy Twitter. And then Donald Trump was like, hey, um, I'm taking the FBI to the Supreme Court. And Clarence Thomas was like, okay. And so, I don't know, that's just an update. So the other day, someone was like, don't talk about politics. I was like, dude, that's not how YouTube channels work. You cannot watch my channel. But you can't tell me what I can and can't talk about. Although technically, the YouTube channel itself can suspend me if I talk about shit they don't like. I don't know what they're talking about. Oh, this was the last month anyway. Hey, extreme contrast in Northeast Asia unfolding right now, says Scotty Duncan. October begins the hottest on record, but incredible cool down takes temperatures close to record cold for this time of year in Asia. We're talking to being 100 degrees and then the next day it being 50 degrees in some parts of China. So I heard. I'm not there right now. Technically, I've never been there, so I can't verify that shit. You'll have to take my word for it or don't because I don't even know. Ray Dallow, yo. Step down from Bridgewater. Yeah, dude, a Kremlin-installed official said, hey, everybody calm down. 
don't expect any good news out of Russia anytime soon. And please remain calm in the face of lots of reports surfacing that said at the moment, Ukraine has been making severe fast gains, taking lots of territories back. And that came out of Russian news. But I said, like, let's say you got, what, 120, 140 million people in Russia and they go to occupy a country with 40 million people. That math didn't add up and it just sounded like a bad deal. I don't know. I'm allowed to have my own opinion and I would much rather have like a Gorbachev coming over here making McDonald's commercial as opposed to some, if I could turn back time. Anyway, yeah, I keep getting a lot of weird aggro. I don't want any more aggro. Anyway. That toll from Hurricane Ian surpasses 100 in Florida, making it the most powerful hurricane to hit Florida in 86 years. You still have over a half million people without power, and thousands under boil water advisors, and people angry about whether or not the warning for the hurricane was appropriate or was good or bad. I don't even know, man. In my almost 10 years of Thor news, I have always been for peace, thinking that everyone should work together across the globe and the first time in the modern age push for world peace but people are like no way let's fight all the freaking time I'm like that's dumb anyway i don't mean to judge you um okay how are you doing what are you wearing okay just like i don't know and then then like south korea fired four missiles over north korea today in response to North Korea firing missiles over by Japan. And then you today, the USA said it could totally break any type of blockade China put up over Taiwan. Please, I know we got like 26 more days of Mars direct, and so we'll see a lot of crazy shit, and then Mars will go retrograde. But please, everybody, calm down. And then the protests in Iran are super crazy, although I'm totally for women. Women's rights, like you should definitely be able to wear your hair down if you want to. Uh, I don't know. I definitely, I don't know. America's great about the freedom thing and the diversity thing compared to other countries, in my opinion. I don't know. When people keep shit their pants when they come across people who have different beliefs than they do. And sometimes I fear after like 10 years, I just sound like a broken record. And today in China, oh, she's cute. Um, they raised an eyebrow when the defense secretary said there's no imminent invasion of Taiwan. So that's good news. Hey, it's about to be unseasonably cool. Just like me. You know what this is? This is the Stromboli volcano activity. I wonder if they could make a volcanic calzone. I just like to combine those words. You, you got new lava flow. What next? That's a good question, Captain America. I hope it's romance and comedy. But with the whole Saturn Square um, Uranus thingy super in effect, like we're right here. Man, so this next 10 days is still going to be super crazy. And the drop off, wee! And things will be cooler by the spring of 2023. So hang on. Making out is like riding a bicycle. I mean, if you haven't done it in a while, Maybe it's like falling off a bicycle. I forget how that old saying goes. Maybe I should end the video now. Happy October, y'all. Rocktober. You know it. Hey, the sunspot number reaches a new high. The sunspot number reached a new high. 165 this morning, which is the highest so far recorded during this solar cycle. We have several groups of extra large sunspots and possibly more to come over the East Limb in the next week or so. And so... Theoretically, we have three more years left till we get to solar maximum. So expect things to get better. Asterisk. I mean, expect things to get better by like the end of November and then the spring. All right. All right. All right. Ex Mirbuk, Hurricane Fiona, Hurricane Ian, and Super Typhoon Noru. And this was all within the last two weeks. Time's been flying by, zipping like it was on rails. I bet you didn't think I was going to mention the Kavachi volcano. Well, I did. We ain't got to fall in love. We ain't got to get married. I just kind of want to go on a date. Do people still go on dates? You know, have a little fun, drink some, have some laughs, all that shit. Because who knows? 
the future's uncertain and the end is always near. Sometime in the future, I'm going to grab myself a beer. Not tonight, though. I should probably get some sleep. All right. Everybody stay cool. But yeah, I have no idea what these lights are. But these are definitely, you know, avoid World War Three, avoid Civil War Part Two. Stay cool. Be grateful and appreciative for everything good in your life. And give thanks to God. If you're into that, I totally am. All right. God bless everyone. Merry Christmas and happy holidays. Talk to you all soon. Peace out.